Hey, this is Ryan from GDSE. Um, I was asked how to make some of these Gucci-esque colors. So here is where I got it to. Um, that's with color fills. You can do it very similar using color balance. You could do this with curves. Um, so I'm gonna start over to show you how I did this. I will use the uh, color overlay method. It's just what I chose to do. Now, keep in mind, I didn't use a Gucci model. Um, I did not have um, any serious lighting. It was just me in the park with a camera. I did take this picture. If you've been watching my 60 second series, I already did some uh, skin retouching just with dodge and burn. Now I've brought it over. Um, I actually did that in black and white. So I brought it over, put it back into color and now I will go ahead, I switched over to LAB, and let's get started. So we're looking at these colors, and the main thing to keep in mind is the yellow on her nose and sort of the red in the cheeks, right? Red in the shadows. So same thing here on the guy, yellow, red. She's kind of hard to see either way. Here, even on this tiny one, you can see reds and yellows. So it's pretty pronounced, right? yellow all over where like the highlight is. See, they probably used gels, um, proper lighting and stuff. Obviously they also have the Gucci fashion and the hair is done, makeup, everything like that. But we'll see what we can do with our image. So to get started, I need to make some luminosity masks, which is what I just deleted. To do that, I don't wanna see this cause it will appear on your channels. So I'm gonna go into channels, I will hold command, I'm on Mac, uh, click on lightness, and just make a copy basically. So that's just a copy of the lightness channel. Now I'm gonna do command, option, shift, and you'll see a little X appear. I can intersect and do it again. Um, do it again. Let's see, that's probably good. I'll go one more to see if I think I need to. I think that's probably too far. I'll use that alpha three. So that'll be for the yellow. So I'm gonna just hold command and click on it and then go back to the LAB composite, go into my layers and do a solid color. And I will punch in, I already did a practice run of this. So I'm just gonna punch in the yellow that I found that I liked. Uh, if you're not doing this in a practice run, don't worry, this is you can always go right back in and edit this. You, like I said already, you could be using color balance or a curve adjustment, whatever you'd like. So there's with some yellow in the face and I might tone that down just a bit, maybe something closer to here. We'll see where that gets us. Now I'm gonna go back into those channels and I'm just gonna grab the alpha one invert it, in, uh, select it, make sure I selected it, and intersect it with itself. So this time I'm doing um, darkness layers basically. So same process except with darkness. I think this one will work. So I'm gonna stop there, select that one, go back to my composite, go back to layers, and again do a solid color, except this time I will be putting in a red because this is going to be more into the shadows. So something like that. Now you're probably saying that looks terrible and, and you're right. And sorry, I just turned the uh, sample back on. So how can we start to fix it? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is layer, layer style blending options. And I can use this blend if down here to start to control it a lot better. So I'm gonna go into the A channel on this one and say, if it's not sort of already red, let's pull some of this out. And you can see how that immediately made a, a huge difference on this, right? Um, I'll go a little past where I want it because then I'm gonna use a layer mask to refine. Although again, this too is completely editable. I can come back in and adjust these sliders later. So something like this is starting to work. 
and you can see we're already very close to where it was like like I said the lighting's not the same also keep in mind dark hair versus blonde hair as you can see all of the women in the Gucci look have blonde hair so that's going to reflect the yellow more than the red where in our model we've got a lot more of the red than the yellow all right so what would I do next next well I could do the same sort of layer blending on the yellow if I felt it needed it I think it's actually pretty good how it is though so I'm not going to do that what I will do is come switch over to the mask side here which you could see if you hit alt I'm just going to click on it use a brush uh, set to a low flow and a uh, white fill and I can add a little bit more magenta where I feel it needs to be. So you can see how there's a lot of magenta on their cheeks, sort of bringing out that reddish cheekbone. So for them, a lot of that was probably makeup and lighting and camera. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit using the layer mask that we just created. So something like this, maybe a little too far down here. That's looking pretty good. Uh, could maybe add a little more just in this shadow area too. Uh, I went way too far on that, hold on. So just very gently like so. Uh, if I feel any of it needs more yellow, I can do the same thing on the yellow. So perhaps on her nose, I wanna really make sure I get a lot of the yellow in there. Maybe add a little right here too. And that's really all there is to the Gucci style. The rest is just refining it, lighting. So like here, I would probably go in and also make sure I pull out anything from her hair, maybe a little bit of the red that got into, um, going the wrong way, switch to black and then make sure I pull it out from her bangs a little here. There's this spot right here that needs to be cleared up entirely so like I said the rest is really just about refining it and you, you could have done this with color balance or curves or anything you want um, but that's pretty much all there is to it so yellow in the highlights and a reddish approaching magenta into the shadows and there you go thanks for watching